Okay, so uh, some of you already seen. Uh, okay, got the tutorial here. Okay, so I'll uh, we'll try to discuss all if we have the time here. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, before we begin, okay, uh, we'll start with uh, Umur Kitab Al Fatiha, and for non-Muslims, we can pray uh, uh, quietly. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we'll start straight away okay, with uh, the first questions. Uh, here is uh, an example of uh, Young's modulus density uh, uh, graph. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, how do we generate this? Okay, you can use the uh, the software. Okay, in CSD pack. Or in this example, I just take, uh, take, uh, took from the uh, textbook that I shared with you. Uh, last week i think and it asks here that we uh, identify the materials with a modulus of more than 50 gigapascal e more than 50 gigapascal and a density of less than 2000 kilogram over cubic meter okay so if we just simply uh, draw a line okay says here more than 50 so 10 to 100 uh, because in logarithmic scale so you can put somewhere in the middle here okay and then we'll draw another we'll draw another line about 2000 kilogram cubic meter so you see here this scale down here shows that is uh, megagram over cubic meter which is uh, to the power of 6 mega, right? Okay, so this is 1 to 10, again, log logarithmic scale. Okay, so this 1 to 10, somewhere around, you can put somewhere around here. Okay. Right, show that. Okay. Then, it says here, it must be more than 50 gigapascal. So over, it must be more from this side. And at the same time, less than uh, density of 2000 uh, kilogram or megagram cubic meter. So it should be somewhere around, actually to, to draw the line here, we can choose uh, be in the material around this area. Okay, more than this, and but at the same time less than. So uh, the candidate could be uh, we can choose here CFRP. Look here. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, suggested material. which is more than uh, 50 megapascal, less than uh, two megagram over cubic meter. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, so next question it asks here. Uh, use the young modulus density again to remember both modulus more than uh, equal 10 and density of 1. So if we move this line, one, and this line to 10. And here, so either you can choose, uh, I think. Not 10, I think I should put here. No, no, I think it should be the density, should not be. Is it one? Yeah. OK, 
Okay, if you look here, I think there is no material. Okay, that is exactly uh, those value. Okay, I made the mistake of uh, didn't see the questions earlier on. I think it should be less than my intention should be less than Maybe a correction. Yeah. Okay. So I think that is better. Okay. So in here it says that everybody will both modulus E and density less than one uh, megagram over cubic meter. So the possible candidate. Yes, this one would be yes, which are uh, wood, okay, at a uh, longitudinal grain, okay, wood with longitudinal grain. This one, okay, okay, that is pretty, uh, that is just straightforward, uh, choosing that. Okay, <clears throat> move on to question three. Choose any three materials that satisfy the characteristic of heavy and stiff based on figure one. Okay, so um, you see here, it shows uh, the, the, the value of uh, what does it, uh, the axis of uh, the Young's modulus on the left, uh, which is the Y axis and density on below here for the X axis, what does it represent? Okay. When we say about Young's modulus, okay, you remember the the uh, equation, okay? Try to draw. Okay, let me try to change. Okay. So you remember the equation uh okay. yeah, the equation in. okay this is somewhat equal to Okay, the stress, the modulus, and uh, strain, somewhat equal with the hook with Hooke's law. Okay, so if you if we remember the stress strain diagram, okay, this modulus is representing the straight line or the slope of the stress strain diagram what it means is that this modulus represents when we apply stress okay when we apply stress for example at this value the deformation would take strain here okay and if we unload it we remove the load it will return back okay this is what uh, the idea of uh, the uh, young's modulus or the modulus of elasticity okay what it also represents is that it represents that the material okay when you uh, how much load and it returns to its position how how much it can resist uh, deformation how much it can resist uh, uh, any sort of uh, load or stress that tries to deform deform it and so when it says here in the in the question okay what does it mean by uh, heavy and stiff? Stiff meaning that 
its modulus of elasticity, its resistance to deformation. Okay. Wait. Okay, I chose the wrong screen to share. Yeah. Okay. So this is what it means by stiff. Okay. So the higher the Young's modulus, the stiffer the material. The the ability to the material uh, materials to exit uh, resist deformation. Okay. And over here, the density is pretty simple word. Meaning that if uh, because the, the the formula for density, if you remember, it's uh, uh, mass over volume, okay. Meaning that if let's say we have these two uh, shape, okay, these two shape, one with density, let's say this is uh, on my uh, left hand, okay. I'm, I'm you can see on my okay, my left hand here. Uh, on this one, we call it product A. Uh, product A. Its uh, material, its density is let's say. Uh, say one kilogram over cubic meter one kilogram over cubic meter this one is 50 kilogram over cubic meter 50 this one is 50 times uh, with this one when i'm fine you can see it can you see what i'm holding here okay so it's the same as the question as if you remember uh if uh, someone jokingly tell what is the which one is heavier one kilogram of cotton or one kilogram of stone okay so which one is heavier which one is uh, uh it's uh, is heavier anyone one kilogram of cotton and one kilogram of stone okay batu satu kilogram kapas satu kilogram uh, batu uh, which one is heavier can I, can one person answer it siapa siapa boleh mana satu lebih berat batu sir Batu, okay, alright. Krishna ne, siapa? Okay, yeah. batu eh, alright, okay, okay good. Salah. Salah, box sama berat sebab dia satu kilo. Yeah, thank you Abigail. Okay, so, but, okay, imagine, okay, you're saying that it, uh, when you when I say the same mass, okay. Uh, one kilogram of stone and one kilogram of uh, 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 cotton, okay, kapas tadi, cotton. So, uh, imagine the volume that would take to to reach those value of mass. Imagine the volume, okay. Probably to get one kilogram of of uh, of uh, cotton, okay, it'll be more than a uh, maybe. Uh, maybe two or three school bus for example okay two or three or maybe five school buses but for one kilogram of stone could be just one uh, plastic bag okay one medium sized plastic bag you can get one kilogram of stone okay so you might that's that's what this thing means that meaning that how much mass you can fit in one uh, volume area okay so if you look at so in this scale meaning that the higher the density meaning much mass with the same volume okay with the same volume it has higher mass okay so logically so you can see here for example foam it has lower density it has lower mass with the same uh, volume that you, that you can fit in excuse me as opposed to you can see here over here metals is a, uh, and ceramics which has higher density meaning it has higher mass with the same volume of when you compare with the uh, foam okay so when it says here choose any three materials that satisfy the characteristics of, characteristics of heavy and stiff it means that it wants to material must be heavy when it have it has higher density okay like 50 kilogram for example and stiff mean that it has higher Young's modulus. Okay, higher Young's modulus here. Okay. So, so you can choose the upper. So uh, over here. 
So the material is that this side, okay, of the quadrant. If you, uh, if you, for example, divide the let me move. Okay, let me sort of move this line sort of in the middle. Okay, so move this line sort of middle here, really. So if materials over in this side of the quadrant, the upper right quadrant here, are materials that are heavier, that are stiffer, okay, because it has higher Young's modulus, it's stiffer, it has higher density, it's more uh, heavier. And so these are the side as we call, we call material that is more, that is uh, heavier and stiffer, okay, that's heavy and stiff. But what about this side? But what materials on this side? What do we call it? What is the opposite of heavy? Anyone can anyone answer? What is the what would be the opposite of heavy? The lightweight, sir. Ah, light. Okay, it's lighter. And the opposite of stiff over here would be soft. Okay, so stiff. Uh, so light and soft uh, and soft would be here. So it makes sense. Okay. So any, what about here? What will we call this side of the quadrant? Hmm? Hello, this side. Material on this side, what do we call them? Sebelah sini. This is density. Okay. What about its density? Is it light or heavy? This side. Anyone, can anyone answer? On this side would be, is it lighter or heavy? Anyone, siapa yang boleh jawab? Heavy is it? Hmm? Light sir, rasanya light. This Bukan side? Ah, uh, Light but not stiff lah, uh, rasanya. This side of this quadrant, the green one would be material that is heavy but soft. Okay, Christian. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, so you you can understand yeah. Anything that goes to the to the graph here on the left side, this side is lighter. This one heavier density, meaning uh, heavy. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, okay. So this this just uh, and then if I then finally if I draw another. Okay, this one. Then you can say this all the materials over this side uh, satisfy the criteria of lighter, light, but stiff. Okay, stiff and light. This one would be heavy and stiff. This one is be uh, soft and stiff. Uh, sorry, soft and he uh, heavy. This one would be soft and uh, light. Okay. Okay, so choose any materials, choose materials, so you can just choose the upper right, most uh, upper right, so just choose any materials that, uh, of course, if you choose, for example, if you choose uh, concrete, okay, not that it's wrong, but you there are other materials that are more uh, stiffer than concrete, okay, for example, tungsten carbide here, or tungsten alloys here, Okay, that are more uh, heavier, that are stiffer. So just based on the graph, just choose the three materials that satisfy those three those criteria. Okay. Now, when I say that, not uh, in principle, it's not uh, uh, it's not wrong, but it will be more accurate if you choose the materials that are the heaviest and the stiffest. Okay. So that's what the question uh, asks you to do. Okay, so discuss the three characteristics of the materials that were chosen above. So, uh, tungsten carbide, for example, tungsten alloys, or we have uh, nickel alloys. Okay, uh, so what are the characteristics? Okay.
okay, what does it what does it, what does it mean okay so uh, you can uh, find the information discuss what are the characteristics okay not only uh, it stiffer what does it mean by stiff meaning that it it's really strong it it uh, it uh, resists have uh, any deformation really it can sustain heavy load okay so that what it uh, means for example and uh, heavy mean that it has uh, very it's uh, in one volume okay it uh, it has a uh, very high mass okay in the same volume you can also uh, its uh, atomic uh, configuration is more tighter okay uh, it's more complex the, the the atomic configuration so but you can just find any information on this so, so you just can answer okay what kind of product or what kind of that that may mainly use this uh, kind of uh, criteria this kind of characteristic that you want okay 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 so we move uh, already to the first question okay so discuss and sketch the three design process approach so uh, uh we talked about in uh the last week's lecture if i'm not mistaken oh, no the previous uh lecture okay if i'm not mistaken uh i discussed about the three design process approach okay you have three designs so if you recall uh let me open the channel Okay, so this is the first design approach. Okay, you have the concept embodiment and detail. And then you have this, the analysis of the ecosystem. Okay, you're designing, uh, uh, studying a product or, or a design approach from one, from a technical system having very sub assemblies. And finally, you can have uh, a more structured function. Okay, so these are the three different types of design process. Okay, so you can just sketch and discuss and also uh, and label it correctly, okay? Okay, so, and then uh, next, what are the three different categories of design product? Okay, so what are the three design product? Okay, uh, I'll reopen, okay. These are the three types of design product three different uh, product design original design a new product okay, starting from scratch uh, no market uh, experience previously uh, adaptive so changing a previous uh, existing product making it better and variant is changing the scale of an existing product without changing its function or changing uh, its uh, major changes it has okay Okay, so and then finally the last question. Okay, so the last question we have one for a tensile rod, tensile loaded rod. Okay, so this figure, so I ask you to generate the translation table. Okay, change. Okay, so translation table based on the based on the okay. So we have function constraints objective and free variables. So we start with the translation table. Okay. So, what is the function of this uh, tensile loaded rod? You can put here tensile loaded rod. Yeah. So, the constraints. So, from here, just the visual uh, diagram that we have here, what would be the 
uh, constraint, we, have, we see that it's already mentioned the force. So it has a uh, specified load F. And it has, it mentioned it's, uh, it has the original length here. Specified length L. So the objective, okay, it says here, uh, it's not or, it's actually off. Uh, sorry, it's correct. Uh, objective or criterion of light mass. So you can put here light mass, or you can want to write as lightweight. Maybe it's the same uh, meaning. So the field variables, it does, does it say any any kind of materials that we need to use? No. So we have the option of any choice of materials that we can choose. Okay, so this is the, uh, the translation table. Okay. So uh, uh, keep in mind, okay, this is just an example. Uh, you're taking the information from, uh, from the diagram that you uh, okay, that you see here, just the, the, you're, you're taking information from the diagram only. Okay, uh, other situations that could be is that we can have uh, text. Okay, so you have to keep uh, you have to uh, keep in mind. Okay, information could not, uh, can be not from the diagram. Can, it can be from the information written. Okay, uh, this is just an example of the information being presented you in a, in a diagram, okay? Okay, so next is we need to generate the material index, see indices, okay? So we have, this is the criteria that we want, the objective, uh, we have the load and the choice of material. Okay, so how do we generate the, the material index? Okay, so if you remember that the last uh, lecture, okay, I shown you, okay, we start with the objective, M equals the formula for mass is the density times volume. Okay, density times volume, and volume is equal with the area times length. So area times length. Okay, so next is how we relate. So this is we have equation one. Next is we know that uh, force is equal to what force is equal to stress times area. Okay. Or oh, stress is equal to force over area. Okay. That is okay. So stress times area. Okay. So area is equals to force over stress. Okay. So we have uh, this value. Okay, this is equation two. So what we will just substitute into equation one. It'll be rho force over stress. Okay. Then we'll get uh, sorry, let me. So if I rearrange L, I'll substitute with L not and and force and here rho over stress. So if if we equivalent with the performance function that I discussed in our last lecture. Okay, the performance function. So this is the geometric function, the specified length. The functions function, which is F, and this is the material function, which is this one. Okay, stress over 
at density over stress. Okay, so the material index. So this is the material index. Okay, so uh, mm, if you see here, okay, it has a uh, no, I can't. You're not seeing. Sorry, different screen. Okay, so if you see here, it said it shows uh, delta L. Okay, so we can interpret it as uh, it's having uh, it once it's uh, uh, it's being forced it, having a uh, and then uh, change the, the change in dimension this is the the length with the delta l okay so um often uh, it'll be easier okay oftentimes materials okay 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 we can choose this material index okay uh, stress over uh, sorry density over over stress okay strength but we have if we recall back okay the put here okay the stress strain diagram stress strain okay this is the yield strength okay wait sorry this is the yield strength okay this is the tensile strength okay tensile strength the highest uh, value of stress okay before the material experience fracture okay so oftentimes in an application okay if you reach this value if sorry if you reach this value the yield strength if you are exceeded then you already fail okay why because again as i uh, talked earlier on okay this is the modulus of velocity the e so any load that you apply around this before reaching the tensile strength the material doesn't go permanent deformation it returns to its original dimension it returns to original length it returns to its original uh, condition okay so oftentimes a uh, material we we don't want it to exceed this value okay you have to understand eh? this is the tensile strength meaning the highest strength before failure this is the yield strength meaning the strength value the stress value that pre before prior to this any deformation would return to its original dimension okay understand anyone doesn't understand that 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 the that, that term that i use you can use the raised hand okay right now uh okay okay anyone does does anyone Understand that before I continue? Faham tak tu? Does anyone understand that term? When I say uh, the yield strength, okay, the yield strength, before, prior to reaching this, any deformation would return to its original dimension. Boleh faham tak tu? Oh, so maksudnya lepas dari tu, dia tak, dia tak, apa, tak patah balik lah pada original shape eh, maksudnya. Lepas dari yeah, if you if you recall balik, engineering materials okay engineering material subject yield strength meaning yield meaning dia uh, having uh, permanent deformation tengok balik eh tu eh so often times okay so we don't want that okay any ask any kind of a, of an engineer designer often it doesn't want certain condition okay i can't think uh, at the back of my head right now but certain uh, often times we don't want to it's change uh, its dimension at all okay can you imagine if you have a a, a car has its a uh, spring absorber spring so if you pull it and you uh, if you let it go okay it will return to its original length okay its original dimension but if you uh, exceed it it doesn't change it doesn't change you can't fit back in the in, in your in, in the vehicle in the car okay if you uh, doesn't exceed that length uh, that stress so it's written so you can fit it again okay so that is the function of a of a spring so oftentimes designer would not want to exceed okay that that value of yield strength if we if we choose uh, just taking this value okay we can put actually the yield strength okay but it doesn't say anything okay it doesn't uh, specify thing so it's better if we uh, use another term 
most specific term, which is using this, okay, relating this. So we know that perfect is stress is equal to the modulus times strain. So we can just uh, substitute here. It will be density, eh, sorry, uh, modulus and strain. And this value strain, it doesn't represent, it's, uh, no, sorry, it's a uh, representative formation. We can put it under the geometric function. It is more uh, equivalent, okay, meaning that. So we have a new equation. Let me uh, erase this. You can look back on the video uh, later on. Okay, because uh, it's being recorded, okay, our session even, okay. Okay, so if I rearrange, if I rearrange the function, okay, the performance function, G function, and material function again, I will get, okay, which is L0 over L will be the length, Strain is equal to, okay, you will be like delta L. Uh, function here would be the force, and then the material function would be E. Okay, so this is the material function. So this is much more, so meaning that you want it, the material doesn't change, does not change its dimension. Okay, its stiffness is, okay, so this is the material function over. So this is what we and I I said uh, uh in, pre, in the in the previous lecture okay so again so if, okay if you look here this is the mass I forgot okay and mass so okay again let me ask you if I want if this is already fixed eh yeah no it's already fixed okay this is already fixed okay so if I want this to be as low as possible this doesn't change this doesn't change so what would be this value can anyone answer if i want this to be as low as possible the mass must be low light mass this does not change this has only this we can change okay so what would be the value for this is it as high as possible as low as possible which one can anyone answer uh, as low as, as, as possible. Yes, yeah, so as possible. So the material index rho over E must be as low as possible. And I told uh, in the last lecture that normally we uh, we don't uh, want to say that we minimize okay, something. We want to say we want to maximize the, the, the function or the, the criteria of something. We want to maximize it. So what do we do? We just invert it okay, into the index would be the E over rho. So this would be the okay. So and 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 so how do we uh so this is what we get okay E over rho. So next how do we, we relate it to a to a material chart? We just because I as I said uh, in the previous lecture, if you look at the At the chart here, the Young's modulus over density. Okay, you see the value. This is we call it the logarithmic scale. Okay, because materials, all these materials. Okay, this. If you look here, for example, this is uh, the value is about. Um, I think uh, if we choose here, it is about one uh, mega pascal. And this is uh, 1,000 gigapascal, which is uh, six times, okay, around six times uh, the value, okay, uh, the difference here. If we use uh, if we use this value as uh, take it as it is, the graph that we have will be somewhat like this, okay. We just if we don't if we just use the scale as it is, okay. You get something a graph, something like this. 
So materials, a lower material density, and you have very large difference. This is the heavy, heavy and stiff material, which is this density. Hey, sorry, this is the density. This is uh, sorry, this is the yield. Okay. Or the, the, the youngs. Okay, and this is the light and uh, soft material over this side. Okay, you have somewhat a skill that is more, that is increasing exponentially. So that's why we, if you look here, if you look at the chart here, you see it's more like a, uh, we have here uh, contour lines, straight contour lines in the back, in the background here. These are using logarithmic scale. Okay, logarithmic scale. So, from here, okay, so we just use log m equals log modulus minus log pro, okay, and if you rearrange it, log modulus equals to log rho plus log m, the material index. So, we have a... Uh, a linear equation okay as opposed to this will be a logarithmic equation this you have a linear equation and this would be the y okay m density would be the x okay x axis and c is the intersect so the material index is the intersect okay so what will be the intersect here, this is this is gigapascal or newton over meter squared, and this is the unit will be kilogram over cubic meter. So then you can have the unit itself. You could uh, divide between the two. Okay. Okay. So this is the y, the x, and it's uh, the intersect. Okay, C. Okay. But again, this the, the final answer this is will be the, the final index. Eh? The material index, this is your final answer. Okay. So we already got do, done that. So if the Young's modulus eh, requires it to be more than 70 gigapascal, suggest four metals that can be a candidate. So you can uh, choose. Uh, So this is 10, so 70 something around here. Okay. And slope. Also, you can choose. Uh, you, you, can, you can actually choose from the. I'll show for uh, a while how you can use uh, the CSLU pack. Okay. If you see, this is the guideline for minimum mass design. If you look here, this is a contour line. This You see here, this is the value of E over rho, E square root over rho, E. Uh, cube root over rho, okay, one third, meaning cube root. This is uh, square root. Okay, so this is the contour line. Okay, so if we move somewhere here, okay, so any if you even if you put it anywhere, okay, it doesn't matter. It's just that, uh, just you know, for illustration purposes, for discussion. Okay, so any materials that exceed this line, meaning that this is the, if you see, this is what we mean by the contour line here, okay. Anything materials that exceed this line here, meaning that it is, it is better, it has a better material index as compared to anything that below this, this contour line, okay. It has a better material index, okay. So, uh, again, I didn't put any value of the intersect, okay? It's just that, uh, uh, just for the illustration, okay? Even though I put, meaning that anything that is above this line, then that you have good. But we only have a second criteria, we put in that it must be above 70 uh, gigapascal, okay? So, let's say if I put the intersect here at 0 0.01, 
gigapascal here. Okay. So anything that is below this value and uh, that all, uh, must exceed 70 gigapascal. So we can choose any material that is here. Let's put here. Specifically this area. Okay. Uh, can meet the the uh, the value and how you want to choose so it says it's lightweight okay the mass criteria must be lower so you can't choose material on the right side here you have to choose material on the left side meaning that lighter but at the same time it must be higher in stiffness so so you can choose material that is uh, uh, that is that meets those criteria okay Okay, can you understand? Okay, so that is the so you can choose materials on both side. So okay, those uh, and it says oh I forgot you already mentioned here metals, so you have to choose metals. Okay, what are the metals that you, know, you have in it? For example, uh, uh, titanium alloys over here, aluminum alloys over here. Okay, some of the example you have steel. So okay. Metals only you have to choose, okay, not uh, ceramics, for example, like this uh, silicon nitrate or silicon carbide, alumina, you can't choose. You have to choose metal, okay, that is that for people. Okay, uh, those are the questions uh, for, uh, for our tutorial, okay. Does anyone have any questions so far? Okay, actually you can interrupt me any anytime if you don't, uh, if you think that you can follow. Uh, uh, the what I explained. Anyone does anyone have any questions? You can try type in the chat, or you can uh, uh, open your. Uh, you can unmute and ask any questions. So Alanda, does anyone have any question? Anyone? Ada ada soalan tak? Anyone does anyone have any question? Okay, semua boleh faham. Boleh saya boleh faham. Okay, alright, good. Okay, uh, still recording. Yeah, okay, okay. So again, thank you everyone for your uh, time today. Okay, uh, thank uh, thank you very much for uh, spending. Uh, dekat dalam you learn lah, Shawki, tanya. The tenants in dekat you learn. Ada masalah ke? Anyone does any ah, problem? Tak boleh sign, sir. Tak boleh sign in. Ah, eh. Eh, tak boleh ni, tanda tenant. Eh, tak ada letak apa-apa. Hari ni, okay. Allow students to. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ada terlupa lagi tu. Okay. Okay, try, try again, try. Cuba try sekarang. Anyone? Ah, sekarang ada, ada. Boleh dah. Okay, okay. Boleh so everyone dah. please. Okay. Uh, take your attendance for today. Okay, I, thank you very much everyone for your uh, for spending time with me this morning. Okay. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, those who came. Okay. Uh, please. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have anything, uh, any. Uh, doubts uh, about uh, about this uh, subject or any questions anytime you can just uh, ask uh, uh, ask in the in the chat in the Microsoft Teams. You can text me on WhatsApp. You can uh, uh, ask even uh, comment in the YouTube video that I already posted uh, uh, with the uh, others uh, for uh, lecture teaching videos and our lab sessions already uploaded and everything. Okay, and I'll upload this video in our YouTube channel. Okay, uh, so uh, for you to refer to. Okay, and if you have any question, just just uh, just let me know. Okay, in WhatsApp maybe I'll I'll have uh, I mean I can reply much faster uh, because uh, because it's just a social app uh, messaging app. It's just that uh, at my house uh, sometimes I have to. Uh, oftentimes I have to uh, wrestle with my uh, younger son. Okay, so maybe not. Uh, I think Hazim asked 
Hazim or someone asked me about a material question, but I replied uh, quite late, so I apologize. So, but you can ask me anywhere if I if I uh, uh, not uh, maybe instantaneously instantaneous uh, 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 answering. Okay, maybe I'll have that give me some time, but I can uh, help in any way I can. Okay, so thank you everyone for uh, attending today. Okay, so. Uh, stay, again, stay safe. Uh, so I'll upload this in, in our YouTube channel. Okay, uh, you have any comments there? Don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Assalamualaikum, man. Okay, sir. Thank Good day. Thank you, sir. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you.